Hey guys, welcome back. I have a DIY. I'm coming to redeem myself from that other one. I don't, if only a hundred, a little over a hundred people saw it. So <laughs> I took that thing down. I'm making um, charger plates for the um, farmhouse table that I'm doing. I have, I went to Home Depot. I got a piece of MDF. And actually I wound up getting two pieces, a smaller one, like a 24 by 24, and then a 48 by 24 because that would enable me to have two, uh, I meant four, um, so it was like 10, almost $10 for the uh, MDF. And I have a lot left over for another project, but I have um, to get the four squares I needed. I needed 14 by 14, I needed that much wood. So um, they got three out of one, and then they got uh, one out of the other, but I got a lot of leftover wood. I'm in uh, MDF, so thin, see, thin particle board these are going to be become my charger plates I got a yard of um you don't know what this is <laughs> why can't I think of it y'all know what the burlap I got a yard of the burlap right and this was 30% off at Hobby Lobby this week so it was regularly $3.99 but I got it for two dollars and some cent a yard and I only need one yard because you're only going to need some squares. I need, I probably cut about 16 inches by 16 inches because I want to overlap. And I'm going to be putting it on with Mod Podge. And I got the outside um, in the uh, outdoor exterior one because that's a little, you know, you could spill on it and everything and still wipe it off. So I got that one. They, I would have used the wash, the, uh, what's it called nowadays? I think it's washable. But it's uh, they didn't have it at my Hobby Lobby, and then I got a little paper plate for uh, to pour my Mod Podge on, and I got a just a regular little paintbrush, old used paintbrush, and then in the end, I'm probably going to um, take some hot glue after it's all dry and kind of stick it down on there too. So the back side, if you really wanted it to be pretty, you can cut an extra piece of the uh, burlap and fold it and put it on there like if somebody lifts up you know what i always say if somebody comes to your house and lifts up your charger plate to see what's underneath there walk them to the door they don't but they don't belong there they don't belong in your house but if you just wanted it for you then cut an extra piece of the burlap and i'll, I'll show you that when, I'm, when i get to that point so for now i'm gonna just do this point part and then i'm gonna let it dry and i'll probably come back and finish off the video tomorrow so I'm gonna lay this on here, make sure I got it right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and brush a piece of wood. Let me tilt the camera down so I'm see to say what I'm doing here. I'm gonna brush the piece of wood with Mod Podge. And then I'm gonna lay that thing on it and smooth it all out, the uh, piece of fabric, the burlap. And I'll smooth it all out and then I'll put, um, Oh, this is thick. Ugh, it's gonna take up some squeeze and get some of this out of here. This my podge is thick. Look how thick that is. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Ugh. Yeah, this is that goopy kind, see? So yeah, I'm gonna brush some on to the MDF. And a nice thick coat. Just as if you was painting it and try to get the sides too because you want to turn it over turn it around the sides I'm trying to get y'all to see it a little better without knocking this thing down okay I didn't I this I was in this uh, hardware you ever go to the hardware store and just uh, look to see what you can make <laughs> So then I thought, you know what? I have brought that burlap. I'll get just get the wood cut. I don't have to put it on no charger plate. I can just put it on wood and have a nice square to break up all of that circle I got going on in there with the round table, the round plates, the round centerpiece, you know. So I said, let me just do squares. So that's where this came about from. And um, I had did something like this for wall, uh, for the wall years ago. Um, to make wall art a bunch of these squares and so uh and i did it in the old house i had when the kids my kids were young 
and I needed some artwork and didn't have any money. <laughs> so I just made it up. And I had about 20 squares and I covered them with different uh, textures and made a piece of uh, wall art. Ooh, hey, it's, it's windy out here today. Very windy, but hot. So I guess it makes it a little more bearable too because uh, it's hot, but um, it has a breeze. Okay, so because this dries so fast, I'm gonna get started on this. I hope you guys can see me. I'm gonna take this burlap and I'm kind of trying to stretch it on there. And then I'm going to try to, see. and then I'm gonna go back over it with this uh, Mod Podge too on top I'm just rubbing it in so it lays flat and I'll show you what I'm talking about you see just rubbing any air bubbles that could be in it out and then before I go to lay down the sides I'm, I am going to just do this because I have a little glue on there but then, after it's dry, I'll come back. And you see how that's going to be? Tight like that. Just like this. And this will be my charger plate. At this point, you can dress this any way you want. You can put pearls around here. You can put that bling wrap. You can put another little natural wood piece. You know, cut them the little dowels and cut them to size and take it around it. You can put shells on it. You can do anything your heart desires. At the end of this or you could just leave it plain like that and you got a charger plate forever so now let me put my coat top coat on here this darn paint this uh, glue is so thick mm. trying to get some out of here y'all this is thick it is goopy you see this look at that Ugh. Ugh. So, yeah, I'm going to glue this down just like this. And I'm putting it right over top. Hold up. Let me get y'all to see me. Hold up. I'm putting it down right on top just like that. <laughs> Did you see that thing? That's so thick it made it stand up. I'm putting it down right on top of here like this. And I'm going to get it all in there because I want it to stick really good. And you know this is going to dry clear. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm not going to um, bore y'all with this part. When this is dry, probably tomorrow, so I'll have on something different. Um, I'll then cut them to the way, I'm, or fold them under, and then tuck, cut any loose ends off the end, off the back. And then I'll decide. I don't know if I want to put anything um, on the edges of this. I don't know if I do. So, but uh, we'll see how I'm, you know, feeling tomorrow about it. But I will be back this so I'm gonna finish putting the glue all over the top of this and then I'm gonna let it dry overnight. And then, like I said, when I come back tomorrow, I'll tuck those like that. And then there'll be charger plates, burlap charger plates in square. So, okay, I'll be back. Um, when this dries, I'll come be back. I'll be back with the next part, thanks. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, this part um, of the, uh, charger plates is done so these are just about dry um the burlap part it's got a little more to drying to do but almost dry um i'm going to now show you how i i'm trying to get this phone so you can see i say i'm gonna try i'm showing you how i would uh finish it off and i'm just going to take glue just a glue gun i'm not even going to bore y'all with this but I'm going to show you how the edge would come out. And I would just hold it in. And I didn't take it all the way to the ends, if you noticed. Because I'm going to be able to get the corners. And I'm going to show you how to get the corners right now. All you got to do is take it. And you can't, because at first I was clipping the ends, but then I realized you didn't have to clip it up. You know, like could do a diagonal. All you got to do is fold it in like that and fold it over, but you got to get it tight. And then I'm going to put glue on the inside there. Put that down. 
and then I will, like I said, fold it just a tad and pull it in. And then I'm just putting, and see, I got this little glue gun. I got to go out and get glue sticks from a bigger one. Didn't have any. So I'm not going to even finish all of them right now. I'm going to just show you what I did finish. Because this can be, and that's how you do it. You just keep going around. And let me show you the corner. <laughs> just knock my glasses off. Okay. And then you will see that the corners should look like this. You see? Just fold it around. I'll show you better on this one that I've already done. This is what it's going to look like. Now, this is a possibility. And I'm doing it depending on where you um, are going to use these. I hope you can see. Let me go back. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just putting a glob of hot glue, right? And I'm going to do it on all four corners. Get another glue stick here. And I'm doing this to make feet. Because, um, you know, so it doesn't slide and it doesn't, uh, it stands off a little bit so it doesn't, the burlap doesn't put any scratches on your wood or glass, whatever type. Oop. Y'all get the gist of it. Yeah, just enough so it's gonna be a little foot there. So it holds it in place, you know, depending on where you're putting it. I hope y'all can see this. Here you go. This will stand. Won't well, let me move the uh, camera. Okay, so I got just pile of glue on each one. And I'm going to let them dry up. And when I turn it over, they will be um, little feet. So now, I'm going to show you as if this one was done. You can take, after this is done, you can take these and put them on. Right? And even if, say, you just wanted to do one on this side and one on this side, this is the farmhouse glam look. Right? I'm not going for that. I'm just going for plain right now. You can do it with the, the diamond wrap from Dollar Tree, this. You can do pearls. Here's some gold diamond wrap that would go around it. And let me hold this up better so you can see this one. Here's the silver. Oops. And here's even the nautical rope that could go around. And you can even kind of brush a little paint on this, say white, right? And put that on there and finish it off. So whatever you want. I'm actually just going to leave it plain because um, I'm trying to just break up the sunflowers in there. But yep, that's it. And um, then, oh, also, you want to take, after these dry, and before you put on any trim, you want to take this. Color mates. I use cry. It doesn't matter the brand. It could be anything. Y'all, I made a mistake and messed up and sprayed the white, white spray paint all on. I'm trying to get it off. If not, I just got to redo it. Um, this uh, Krylon I'm using, but you can use any brand you want, and it's just clear, a clear gloss. And then you want to just take it and you want to just. I'm gonna do a little bit, just so you can see. Just. And it takes away any stickiness from the Mod Podge. That's all. So you just want to go over it with light strokes. And then it'll take away. And then it's going to be just regular, raw, rough feeling burlap. And it'll be like that. So that's all it is to it. Easy as pie. So these are starting to dry. They're not completely dry yet. So I can't turn it over. But I will show you this. This is what I'm using for um, the um, table as my charger plates. And also, you can use this, like, on a coffee table for display. And like I said, putting all kinds of stuff on them. Bling wrap. You can do those rhinestones, period, here and there. Uh, pearls. Different beads. You could dress this up easily. This is just the base. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to finish up. 
this last one over here and then I will um I'm getting ready to upload this now though so I gotta finish these up so I can um get with my tape get my table done but that's all it is to it guys I hope you can see it and again here's the back and I like I said I just put those glue pieces on there just so it sits well on the wood and you know we'll grab it in place if you're going to put it on, I'm probably going to use a table runner, but that's it. That's the raw side, and this is the side that's done. So, okay. I will be uploading this now, probably. And um, I got a jewelry jar, so I don't know. I don't know about this evening, y'all. Maybe this evening. I don't know. Let's talk about it. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.